Bruce from Safari, and we're having a look at the Dodge Ram here, which is operating as a power station to charge up the towing van behind. There's the power plug at the back. And while we're actually running this uh, through the power lead here, have a look in the display here. It's showing that 1957 of power is coming in through that lead into the van, and the van's using 945 watts of power inside with the air conditioner. It's set at 16 degrees. And it's also got the induction that runs. It's also got electric hot water. So it uh, totally can run electrically. And uh, we've also, you can see there, the LED lights and what have you. Now let's look at this display again and just let me explain it one more time. So we've got there off the solar at the moment, 317 watts of power. The aircon's using 945. It's getting 1957 watts in the top left is coming in from the Dodge Ram. And it's still charging the battery at a total of uh, 1200 watts, so the battery's 93% and going up higher. Now let's have a look at a little bit of detail of where this power is coming from, and it's coming from the alternator. And inside this Dodge Ram, we've loaded up a 48 volt, there it is in bright red, made in Australia alternator, and it's feeding through to the back of the canopy here, and in the back of the canopy we also have some 48 volt batteries in here and an inverter, and that's what the caravan is plugging into. So let's have a look at this display then. You can see the power coming in from the alternator is 1700 watts. The other thing we're powering up inside this canopy is an instant electric hot water system. There it is there. You can see it's running at 36 degrees. And here's the hose uh, and uh, Garrett's just running it out of the back there. So this unit's got enough power to both send power to the van and also for the hot water. Now the other way that we can power the van is just connect the Anderson plugs together, which you can see here. And this is looking at the van where the power coming in at the bottom end of the van there is 1130 watts through the Anderson plug. So you can either use the 240 volt or you can use the Anderson plug. And there's the 240 volt display. So you've got two choices here of how to power the van. Garrett will be able to run his aircon all during the day with the solar doing most of the power and all through the night. Basically, this setup will run 24 seven off the batteries. How good is that?